I'm here at Dork's Music with my very good friend, Franck Bichon, who is the king of ligatures. And, Franck, let's talk ligatures. OK. En français? No, en anglais, s'il vous plaît. OK. <laughs> Guys, thank you for joining us at Dork's Music uh, video. And I would like to explain you uh, from my point of view, and then, of course, with Simon, as a musician, uh, why a ligature is so important for you to choose. When you buy a clarinet, you got a morph piece that you're going to change because your teacher tells you to change it, to adjust to the sound he wants you to have. And then you're going to go through that. But a lot of people still forgot that the ligature is as important. What makes your sound? The way you blow yourself in the instruments will affect the vibration of the abouchure, will affect the vibration of your morph piece on your reed. The instrument is like an amplifier to me. And the way to, to hold the reed on morph piece will change the sound. Two musicians playing the same set will have two different sounds. One will be more open, one will be more closer. And it's just because it's a matter of personal choice to find out exactly what is convenient to you when you play. So I always encourage people to compare, not always to play the same thing as their friend or teacher, except the teacher insists, of course, but it's really a matter to find what is convenient to you because it's your impression when you play, how easy you feel, how comfortable you feel when you play with it. I always say to people in few words, please, when you try something, first of all, play with your own material because when in your in the store at Dogs Music, for example, you don't play concert every day or you don't practice in the, in the office uh, of uh, Dogs Music or whatever shop. So you have to find your sound there. So once you find your sound, you warm up as well yourself, then you can start to do a test and change one component at a time. Don't change the morph piece or the ligature or the instrument whatsoever. No, change one thing one time so you can figure out what is going to be the difference. And then you can compare and do a scale, an easy one, uh, low note, high note, then do some pianissimo, fortissimo, that's it. Don't play too long. The longer you play, the more you adjust yourself. And it's not what you're looking for. You want something to make you easier playing, comfortable to play, not something that you have to adjust yourself to get what you want. And that's uh, briefly what I would say as a non-musician verbal. But yeah. then I will well, leave it to Simon. I, I, I agree totally. Um, that's, that's what you want to do. You, you, as Frank says, you don't want to spend too long on each ligature, but just to get a feel of it, um, you need to uh, play low, play high, see what the range of the, the, the ligature is. Make sure you have a good read on. Uh, make sure that you, you know, you're happy with your setup first because um, you're not going to get the best out of it. Uh, as a professional, um, you know, details really do make a difference. Um, these tiny little things, ligatures, different read. I mean, you know yourself, surely, that, um, you know, you select a read that works to, to make sure that you're, you're happy with the read. Maybe you've got a, if you're doing an exam or, or a concert or something, you, you might have a read in mind that you've, you've selected before. Um, you know, so uh, for me, I put the same detail into the selection of ligatures as well. When I want a different sound, uh, most of the time I'll change the ligature rather than changing the mouthpiece or the reed, um, which is, is crazy. But, you know, uh, I'm very fussy about my reeds as well. I will spend um, hours just going through reeds, grading them, scraping them, messing about. Um, so to have something like a ligature that you can just put on and change uh, the sound uh, rather than having to, to worry about the reed, for me, is a real bonus. Um, so tell me about this ligature. This is the, the cheapest, yes, I believe. Yes, exactly. This is uh, the uh, introduction range of BG ligatures. But uh, cheaper does not mean uh, that it's the not so good ligature. No, definitely it's not. As it's good. fantastic. The best yeah, ligature is the one that fits you, guy. Mm -hmm. Never forget that. The best ligature is the one that fits you. And I hope it's a BG. You better have to. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, uh, the key point to, to remember about ligatures is that the sound, as I said before, is coming from morph piece and reed vibrations. So the way you hold both of them will affect the sound. So it will make darker sound if you have a rubber plate uh, and a rubber uh, material to uh, fabric material to, uh, to cover the morph piece. It will be like, like that. I mean, it absorbs the sound. You know, it's going smooth together. For, for the rubber plate that we put as well for the standard gature with the reed, it will also absorb vibrations. 
if you put some metal insert, you will have more response from mm -hmm. it. Okay, it's brighter. Yeah. Okay, uh, and that's logical things to understand. That's science, people. <laughs> yeah, but it's a size, it's rocket science, as you say, but it's the same thing for drums, same thing for, of course, for yeah, tennis yeah. Uh, yeah. players, yeah. for everything. I mean, it's a matter of reaction of uh, But material. I mean, it's like I say, you know, the, the detail really is in, in, in what you want as a player. You know, um, it's the same with drummers. They use different sticks, they use different heads, kits, all sorts of stuff, different cymbals. You yeah. know, any, any musician, you know, it's, it's down to those little details because I could pick up any clarinet and make it play. But I want the sound that I've got. I want the sound that I, I, I have in my head rather than to have to, to, to compromise. Mm -hmm. So um, that's the beauty of the, the range of ligatures that, that BG do. You can find your sound with, with these ligatures. So to make it short, the rubber, uh, fab uh, not rubber, but the fabric material will make a sound uh, rounder, darker. You know, saxophone and clarinet, clear they don't use the same word to say the same thing. Why make it so easy? And uh, also that you, you have, so when you use a metal uh, ligatures, you have a brighter sound, and then the plating will affect your sound as well. Uh, as I said earlier, if you use some silver plated, it's brighter sound. If you use gold plated, it's more focused sound. If you use rose gold, it's more suave. Uh, black is more uh, matte sound. Uh, so it's really matter of, it's subtle, but details make a difference again. But the key point is that we have different collection. The flex ligature has been designed just to have something very convenient for kids as well. So you can smash it, you can walk on it, it won't damage it. So ligature is not designed for that, but as parents, you know that a lot of kids may <laughs> yeah. broke some ligatures. So that's one thing, mechanical. The second thing, mechanical, is that we have a flat screw. So that is easy for kids, for anyone, to adjust very fast and exactly as you want to make it secure. And then we decided uh, to have a matter which was making the sound as close as the standard ligature we originally mm -hmm. created in 1985. It's not yesterday, but I'm still young, of course. <laughs> and, and then we, we wanted to have something fresh from that. It's, uh, it's not a new concept in itself, but we wanted to have a full range uh, so that people uh, who want to start with BG can afford BG at a low insurance price and then go and move for different models. But here again, you, a lot of people play as well both the dual ligature for some gig, and then also the fabric ligature, or the, the, the flex ligature for chamber music, orchestra music, and mm -hmm. everything like that. So it's better of what you, how you feel yourself. Again, try by yourself, because the best way to find out what we say, I don't like blah, 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 it's boring. <laughs> try by yourself, find out by yourself. That's the best way. But then, Simon, absolutely, you can yeah. play yeah. some models maybe to, yeah, uh, to get some ideas for well, people. Because you select another one for me to play, and okay. I'll just play a bit on this. Okay. So, this so is called the Flex. This is uh, the one with... Uh, uh, let me show you that. I don't know if you can see it here. Good. So, the Super Revelation got rails in the same direction of the fibers of the reed. So it means that when you play, the vibration goes together like that. We always design the ligature of BG with this, uh, these rails, the same direction of fibers of the reed. Why? Because we don't want to break the vibrations. If you put the rails like that, you're going to break down vibration or points, okay? It, it's going to affect vibration. So it's not what we want. We want mm -hmm. to optimize the vibrations. So that's why we designed this okay. concept. So this is the okay. super revelation. Correct, yes. So immediately this has, uh, I think, more focus. Mm -hmm. um, a, a rounder sound for me, um, but uh, it, it kind of makes me want to play more classically, perhaps. Um, that was the concept. Yeah, oh. this, this, uh, it, it has a beautiful sound, though, beautiful tone. Hmm. Can you try some uh, staccato? Yeah. Yeah, staccato is clear, free blowing, easy. You yeah. get the job. Mm. Yeah. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, the, 
The concept of uh, this one compared to the rubber plate we did for the standard ones mm -hmm. was really to add more staccato, ease of playing as well. And uh, definitely uh, this ligature was the uh, concept we did a long time ago with two materials, one made of natural fibers for the sound effect and one made of synthetic material to an extent. Mm -hmm. And let's go now to the uh, tradition. And uh, let's maybe go to the tradition. This one is a uh, rose gold. Rose gold. And we got the black one as well. Which one do you prefer? Um, let's try the black one. Okay. Yeah. I like the rose gold, but uh, yeah, the black one is, um, is different. Uh, it's new, isn't it, the black? That is correct. This yeah. is brand new. And uh, so we have a silver, brighter sun, mm -hmm. the gold plated, more focused. And the rose gold is more suave, and this one, uh, black, uh, you're going to tell us. Okay. Yeah, well, let's, let's play, and then I'll tell you my thoughts. Yeah, I mean, that... Um, I mean, I'll let you into a secret. I do have one of these, uh, and it feels like home. It feels like, you know, I'm getting my sound. Um, I use this in the studio um, a lot more than I, I use live. It, live, I'll, I'll play a, a silver-plated duo because it's a bit more powerful. Um, but this really feels like my sound. Um, uh, and it, it, it just responds how I would expect uh, a ligature to respond. It, it changes the, the tone of the instrument to, to what I want the instrument to sound like. So, yeah, very happy with, with this one. What I like what you said is it's my sound. And when you say my sound, you mean that you found your own sound. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just like buying some dress, you know? You want to find a jacket or shirt or whatsoever. When you start to use it, to, to, uh, to dress it, if it's you, it's you. Yeah. Right away, you know it. You don't have to, uh, oh, I need to make some change. But do, and from do, the remember, song, it's really bad. do remember, it's a combination of the mouthpiece, the reed, the ligature, the instrument. Everything mm -hmm. adds up to your sound. Um, uh, and it's things you're comfortable with as well. So, you know, this is my mouthpiece that I use. Obviously, it's my reed. <laughs> wouldn't want to use anybody else's read. My clarinet that I've been using for, for the past 20, 25 years. So, you know, this, this is comfortable for me. This is, this is something that I, you know, I just feel it's, it's like a, you know, an old jacket putting it on and yeah. you know, just, just, exactly. just feeling like it, it works. It has to be you. Yeah, this is the sort of thing that I feel I can take some risks on as well and just, just do something a bit different. Um, so, yeah, I think that's, that's very useful. Again, keep in mind, the best signature, the best mouthpiece is one you like. So find your combination by yourself and play test one thing at a time. Don't change too many things at the same time. There's no point. We want to so try we, the silver or the gold plate, the um, black? Well, they, let, should we try the black? I would say so, because yeah. uh, compare okay. the black tradition with black. So that's, that's actually my yeah. silver-plated one, so I know how yeah, that's Yeah, don't worry, don't perform. worry. I won't and move. No, he better not steal it, yeah. because um, Sam has closed otherwise I'll go anyway. and find him. <laughs> so this is the, the BG Duo ligature. Correct. Um, which, uh, so what's the, the, the concept with this? Because, I mean, that looks quite funky with the red, uh, the red section and the, um, the, you know, the gold screw. And, um, well, the concept was simply for, for us to have... First of all, when ligature doesn't move away, mm -hmm. when you want to adjust, it's done. It's fixed, yeah. okay? So but, you can uh, change from B flat to E flat. I think and all, all the, the ligatures, but, okay, you, know, uh, you feel safe with them the tight enough. Even all, more all with this one. Yeah. Mm. And the key point was for us to have some more powerful sound with mm -hmm. the uh, tradition. The, the tradition that you tried before is more elegant. Yes. More stylish, That's okay? That's very true, yeah. And mm -hmm. the duo is more powerful sound. So when you want to play in a band, uh, make very much impression to, to people on, on your, to yourself, then that will be the, the choice, of, of course, okay? Okay. Uh, not only for classical, but for, for jazz, for rock, for, for, not for rock, for clarinet, but uh, for fusion, for classical, whatever music you want to mm -hmm. play, okay, on classical too. I mean, a lot of people now play with this once when they started to, to play, test it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Okay, well, let's, let's hear you what it, it sounds you love like. it, that's it. Yeah, 
yeah, so it has a bit more focus, a bit more brightness, uh, a bit of a buzz to it. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I, I mean that in a good way, obviously. Uh, yeah, it, 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 it's a lovely ligature. Um, I, you know, I, I want one of these. Um, it's, it's very, very, uh, very, very free blowing. Um, perhaps the the tradition, because I'm used to it, is more, uh, you know, is, is more me. Mm -hmm. But still, it has a it has a very, very good round, uh, powerful sound. So yeah, I like that. You know. Um Orion works with me as well. He used to say when he talk about ligatures that it's like shoes. You have reading shoes, you have concert shoes, you have different needs for different use. Mm. And it's the same thing. I mean, it's a, nothing to compare in terms of weight, but just the idea to say that you may have different ligatures to play in different opportunities, depending on what you have to play. Definitely, I do. Where I you do. have to play, yeah. if yeah, it's yeah. large room or small room, mm -hmm. if it's a big band, if it's an orchestra, mm -hmm. if you play soloist or not. Uh, so you have to find what is convenient to you, so you can have different ligatures uh, to match it. Yeah, personally, I find a ligature changes my sound in the right way. You don't want to be fiddling around with new reeds. You don't want to be changing mouthpieces particularly. Um, so just to change your ligature changes your setup. Are we, are, he's holding the silver plate. This is my, my silver plate. So this is generally what I, I use uh, to play live because, of course, I'm playing in bands with trumpets, trombones, um, amplified instruments. Uh, so I need something that's going to cut through. Uh, and this ligature uh, is bright, it's brash, uh, and it's wonderful. And it sounds like this. So it has a completely different response to all the others. Uh, it's still the same material, um, apart from being silver plated, it's still the same ligature as the, uh, the, the duo, the black duo we heard, but the finish is different and that makes a, a superb difference to me. Um, it's, it's amazing really how much the, the difference in finish can make. Um, we'll just play you out a little bit, but before I do, don't forget to check out the, uh, the Dorks YouTube channel. Uh, and of course, the website www.dorks.co.uk.